One of the most common methods for making a grounding electrode connection in construction is to use rebar. Rebar is often installed in such a way that it extends beyond the surface of the finished concrete in order to provide connection point above the slab foundation for a grounding electrode conductor. This widely used practice was adopted in the 2014 NEC as Article 250.68 C3. This use of the rebar that meets the requirements of 250.52 A3 was under certain conditions. It must be located where it won't be vulnerable to moisture or other corrosive elements and can't be in contact with direct earth without corrosion protection. Best practices have been to stub up the rebar in a wall space or cavity near the service panel, allowing for not only a minimal grounding electrode conductor link to the connection, but also providing protection for the clamp or fitting as required in 250.10 if they are the means for the connection. Of course, all clamps and fittings must be listed for the use as per 250.70. These requirements from the 2014 edition were revisited during the 2020 code review cycle and resulted in the addition of more detailed provisions and some new limitations as well as reorganization into a list format. One concern was that the provisions, as written, permitted the extension of the rebar from the grounding electrode be made by simply having the two make contact. How could that connection be reliable? Someone could easily bump them apart while working in the area, or they could become separated as the concrete is being poured. Because of this, the 2020 NEC added provisions to clarify that the rebar stub must either be continuous or securely connected with the concrete encased electrode rebar. More detail on those requirements will be provided in the slide that follows this video. The 2020 NEC also adds a provision that prohibits the use of the concrete cased electrode to be used as a conductor to interconnect electrodes of grounding electrode systems. In some larger services, there could be a requirement for as big as 3 out copper to make the interconnection, and a half inch rebar has not been demonstrated to perform equally as those conductors. Therefore, that restriction has been added. The same language was also added to 250.53c that addresses bonding jumpers used to connect grounding electrodes for grounding electrode systems. That language is, rebar shall not be used as a conductor to interconnect the electrodes of grounding electrode systems. 